hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to since day one before we get into this updated video about nba young boy money yaya as well as cc from bad girls club louisiana and let's not forget that anonymous person we never were able to find and before we get into this video go ahead and like the video comment down below and if you are new smash that subscribe button to take flight with us so you guys remember super bowl sunday or that following monday when i came out with that video about this girl named cc money yaya kl marie nba young boy as well as a friend of money yaya's and how they all had got into it at the West End. And we could never get the video footage or none of that. And it was just a whole bunch of shenanigans going on. Well, I'm just hoping y'all got your lighters up. And flicking them so we can go on and get into this tea today. Because I want to let you know that I found Miss Anonymous. Sure did. Clearly, Ayanna Mayweather is a bad friend. I mean, tell me, girl. Just tell me because when i'm on your twitter trying to get answers you love to hit the block button but i mean seeing as we on my youtube channel i feel like i can say whatever i want to say because it's gonna get to you rather you want to hear it or not and girl all i want to know is why did you bring that girl down here to get dragged i mean did you even tell the girl the truth on why y'all was really coming down to dallas i mean yeah yeah just tell us what the real plan was because that wasn't it girl you four foot nine what is you stopping I mean, y'all, a girl her size has to use her daddy's name for clout. She ain't got no choice. I mean, I ain't gonna hold nothing against the girl, but I'm just saying, if you got all the millions and billions and trillions of dollars, I would go learn to fight. I mean, because just with your daddy being Mayweather, people is gonna test you, girl. I mean, even if they end up not doing nothing to you at all, they gonna test you just to see if you got it. Cause I mean, your daddy money Mayweather. I mean, but hey, y'all, we cannot be surprised because we know that we dealing with a valley girl. We know that we dealing with a suburban girl. She not from the hood, y'all. She don't know how to fight. That's why she brought her friend with her and the friend actually ended up getting beat up too. I mean, and this is just my opinion, you guys. This is not anything towards money, y'all, y'all. It's not my fault that the girl can't fight and she always inserting herself into BS. Over this man who ain't even hers and it's been strictly proven on the internet time and time again that he is going to be with who he wants to be and nobody can keep this man unless he wants to be kept and clearly the person that's keeping him right now is kl marie i'm just saying you guys i just thought that it was totally unfair of money yaya to bring her friend down to dallas to start beef with someone she didn't even know to satisfy money yaya's jealousy and then waited a whole week before she came back to social media but you could still see the evidence y'all well i'm just not gonna talk too much more about that y'all i just wanted to let y'all know that i found the girl well Better yet, CC found the girl, and I don't even know what money y'all y'all was thinking of putting the girl on social media so soon. Like CC still wasn't looking for her because CC didn't know the girl, and she really only seen glimpses of her while she was getting beat up in the hallway. And y'all know money y'all y'all been acting up on the internet because she feels like that's the only way she can get YB's attention, y'all. She been doing the most since YB stopped messing with her. If y'all have not noticed, so the other day CC sent this to my phone you guys and basically let me know that this was the girl that was with money yaya so i was like well how do you know so she was like those are the glasses that she had on that and she didn't know if they were prescription or not and so i was like well where did you see her like like how did you find the picture and so she said that her and money yaya did a tiktok together that was basically going viral I mean, at this point, it's all alleged, you guys. So I really just don't know at the end of the day. But Money Yaya has been out on social media doing her thing since she healed up. And, you know, it's not a problem to her. She is in love with NBA Youngboy. 
And I feel like she'll take all wins and losses when it comes to him. But I just wanted to come back and let you all know that I have found the girl. And I ain't going to give out her social media because, you know, that ain't my business. But I'm just saying. That money y'all y'all was just wrong for bringing the girl down to Dallas to get her feelings hurt. Because Cece didn't have no choice. At that point, it was self-defense. You know, she had to do what she had to do. But dang. They just got me over here wondering one thing, y'all. Like, do y'all hate it here? And I I remember Cece had told me that YB was fed up with this girl anyway because she always popping up with money. Y'all, y'all trying to stop some and cock block some. So long, so long. Sleeping from soap with a soap. from soap with a soap. Now I'ma step on these little bitty bitches. Hit some brand new Gucci, low. Some Gucci walking. I got tired of eating Big Mama's chicken. Now, now it's business when I walk. Watch out, I 